Hello everyone, good morning, happy Thursday. Hi, Want to uh, get right into uh, today because we've got a lot to do. I want to give you as much time today in, in class as possible to continue with preparing for our debate. We're going to do our debate tomorrow, and I want to start by talking about the rules that that we need to consider. So I have here, and you can access this later if you wish, but here are the debate rules, all right? And think of it as having three parts, an opening statement, the debate itself, and a closing statement, all right? So here are the instructions for the opening statement, all right? So each debate team will present an opening statement that should not last longer than two minutes. An opening statement introduces the argument. Remember, your team of four is going to be either for something or against, okay, one or the other. And in your opening statement, you also want to summarize well, why your team feels this way. All right, but no, no more than two minutes. The pro team begins first with their opening statement. So remember that teams one, three, five, seven, and nine are the pro teams. Okay, so you guys are going to go first with your opening statement. So you're going to need to choose one person to present the opening statement. Okay, so you'll need to decide who you think will be the best person to present the opening statement. So the pro team will introduce their opening statement no, no longer than two minutes. Then the against team will present their opening statement no longer than two minutes. Once both teams have presented their opening statements, then the debate begins. Now here are the rules for the actual debate. So here we have um, what's called a debate turn. Okay, I'm going to use the term debate turn. So a debate turn consists of three elements, three parts. The original claim or explanation of a reason that supports the overall argument. So remember, if you're for video games, you need to have four reasons, right? And this is going to be our first reason. Let's say the first person who is going to begin the debate turn is going to state their reason, right, and provide evidence. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So this first original claim should last no longer than two minutes. Now, everything is timed, so each team should have a timekeeper, someone who's going to be responsible for the time of the other team. All right, so the other team, the opposite team, will keep track of the time for your team. All right, so no longer than two minutes for the opening claim. Now, the second part of the debate turn is called the counterclaim. So this is where the other team has an opportunity to respond to the original claim. Now, the counterclaim can be no longer than one minute no longer than one minute. Again, everything's timed, and timekeepers from both teams need to pay close attention and, and stop the speaker when the time expires. Okay, so when it's uh, very important that the debate keep, keeps moving, right? And the way we keep it moving is everything is timed. And then after the counterclaim has been presented, then we have what's called a rebuttal. This is where the initial team, the, the person who presented the original claim, has a, 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 an opportunity to respond to the counterclaim. Again, no longer than one minute. So think of these three, these turns, this debate turn, as the original claim and the counterclaim. The counterclaim is to express what's wrong or weak about the original claim. The rebuttal 
is designed to say what's weak or what's incorrect about the counterclaim. Right, so that is going to be one debate turn. Original claim, a counterclaim, and a rebuttal. In total, no longer than four minutes. A, de a debate turn should last no longer than four minutes. All right, so after the opening statements, the members will take turns performing a debate turn. All right, so for example, team one and two team up, right? After the initial opening statements have been completed, the first person in team one with the first reason will present, will begin the debate turn. And they'll go, they'll present the original claim, counterclaim, rebuttal. When they finish, then the team against, the first person from the team against will present his or her first reason and they'll go back and forth with from a using a debate turn in that fashion and then the second person from team one will continue with the next debate turn so in total you're going to have eight debate turns okay eight de debate turns with eight reasons with eight different reasons okay four reasons for one claim for f the for four for the four side, and then four uh, reasons for the against. All right, does that does that make sense, guys? So far. Can you repeat it again, please? Is it okay? So, are there any questions so far? Regarding the debate turn? No. No? All right. And then when you finish with the debate, with those eight debate turns, then you finish with the closing statements. Again, the pro begins no longer than two minutes. And they're basically closing their statement, why they think their argument is stronger. And then the against team will do the same and present their closing statements. All right, so the, the whole debate should last no longer than, let's say, 32, 30, about 36, 37 minutes, certainly no longer than 40 minutes in total. All right, following these, these three sections, the opening statement, the debate itself, in the closing statements. Now, I was looking at some of the Word documents that you guys were working on yesterday. Now, I want to provide an example. As you're continuing working on your reasons, this is how I would organize your outline. So, teams 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are going to have something like this, video games as an adult. Whoops, not that one. They'll have a four, or, or pro, or four. For and against, right? So here you want to list out, I would list out the reason, probably a, a word or a phrase. You know, keep it short. Reason one, reason two, reason three, reason four. Now the evidence, what I would do, in this outline is to keep it short, a word or a phrase, maybe a sentence, with the link, with the link to the uh, to the source. Now remember, I'm asking everyone to try to begin finding information through a YouTube video, just so that you have some practice uh, listening. But if you need additional sources, you can use basically any website that you can uh, come across to support your reasons. But notice in my outline, I have, these are evidence, all right? So these are people, these are, th this is information coming from an outside source. So this debate is a chance for you to paraphrase what other people say about the reason that you're discussing. 
All right, so we want to make this uh, about what other people say more than what more than just our own personal opinion or experience. All right, this is an exercise in trying to get uh, information from an outside source and then putting into words someone else's ideas. All right, so in preparing for this, you can probably have your own notes, right, about what you want to say, but that would be separate from this outline. This outline should be brief, concise, and organized. And when I say organized, what you also need to do as a team is to decide, okay, what reasons, what's the order that we should present our reasons? All right, so this is something you can discuss and reach a decision on, right? It's probably going to make sense to have one of these reasons come before another reason. So decide as a team what's the order, and certainly you can talk with your teammates about how you want to present your evidence. That's something that you can discuss. But I would try to have at least two pieces of evidence. Now, I have three in this example. It's better to have more and not need it. Okay, you're not going to be asked to speak a lot, but you decide how much evidence you're going to need. If you if you know you need to speak for one minute or, or two minutes for the initial claim, right? make sure that you have enough information from enough sources to speak for two minutes. It's up to two minutes, right? I mean, if, if, you, if you stop early, right, then the other person jumps in and continues, right? So the, the maximum amount of time for the, the initial claim is two minutes, but you, you want to try to fill up that time as much as possible because that's going to be also part of how well you do in the debate is can you fill up the time and also provide evidence. So again, try to find information, use this outline, and make sure that the reasons are in order. You'll notice here then we'll have a second list of reasons. This is now going to be for teams 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And they're going to have the same. They're going to have reasons and evidence, but for against the argument. Now, what we have to do, because I know a lot of you have much of the information, you found almost all the information that you need. What you need to do now is start talking. What I would do is open up an online meeting with all eight members. Well, all right, there's two parts of this, what we need to do today. Part of it might require that you work only with your four team members. Part of it is going to require that all eight of you work together because you're going to need to decide, make sure that you have the order, the appropriate order, and the the order, so let's say that, uh, let, me, let me pull up team one here. Use an example here. We have group one. All right, so in week 11, all right, they have their outline here. And you can use two files. I think it's easier just to use one file and share, like have one page for one and another page for, uh, for the second team. But I would try to simplify and... Again, the outline is just a guide. It's not, you can have your own personal notes uh, uh, separate from the actual outline. But let's, let's do this here. Um, let's see. So we have member one, team member two, Team member three, team member four. All right, so each team needs to decide 
which order they're going to present their um their their reasons but each of you are going to have to answer your the one of the other reasons all right so you're going to be presenting one of your own reasons and then you're going to be asked to answer one of your the other team's claim all right so this is what i would like for you to do in the documents is to let me go back here right next to the reason write down your name right that you're going to present this reason and what i would do is i would put here original claim and then the name and then put the counter claim and then your the the other person's name if that makes sense right so because this reason is going to have an initial a counter and a rebuttal the rebuttal is going to be answered by the same person who stated the original claim but here we want everyone to know who's going to present the first initial claim and who's going to present the counterclaim for each reason and i would do this for next to each of the reasons for both teams for both groups okay does that make sense that's a little bit a little bit confusing there but uh, is that clear about how we're doing the the original claims and the counterclaims and how you're going to match up each with each other See, jump right in guys if uh, if this is not clear because if you've never done it like this this might be a little bit confusing but the idea here is that we want everyone to know and and also this will give you an opportunity to prepare for answering a counter to one of your your opposing teammates reasons now, some of these reasons might be very similar, except they're just on opposite sides. Some of them may not. So, again, be, um, be careful like how you match up with the reasons, right? You want to match up based on, you know, what you've been reading and what, you, what you're interested in debating, all right, so what I'd like for us to work on today, guys, is to complete uh, the Word document, this outline. It doesn't matter if it's one document or two documents, but I'm, I'm going to ask everyone to follow an outline format, very much like this example here, along with the names next to each of these uh, reasons. Okay, so this is what I'd like for us to work on today. Um, and go ahead and uh, continue working. And if you have all of the information lined up, you can begin practicing what you're going to say. Remember that your evidence needs to be from an, from an outside source. And it's okay to include, like in your notes, whatever you need to, right, to prepare. But we're not going to want to try to read the text we want to try to explain in our own words what someone else said this is why i think if you can find a video listen to it understand what they want to what they're saying and then just kind of repeat what they say but in your own words that would be i think actually it's a little bit easier to paraphrase right if it's text we're going to be really wanting to read the, the text. So we want to try to put those ideas in, into our own words. All right. Any, any questions, guys, about what we're going to continue working on today for preparing for a debate scheduled for tomorrow? Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Uh, in the original claim, um, uh, yeah, in counter claim is the same person in my team who's going to explain it or 
I didn't understand that part. <laughs> okay, so so let's say um, we have, and I, I don't remember the team members here, uh, but the team one, team one has four members, all right? So team one, each member is going to be responsible for one of the four reasons, okay? Now, each person in the team, in team one, right, this first person is going to present the original claim with evidence. Then someone from team two is going to present a counterclaim. So this counterclaim, this is going to be somebody from team two. And then the rebuttal, I don't have the rebuttal here, but the rebuttal will always be the person who presented the original claim. So it's really going to be between two people and from two different teams. And they're going to, they're going to present, this is going to be arguing for this reason. All right? And then when they finish, that's going to be the turn, the original claim, the counterclaim, and the rebuttal. When this is finished, this discussion, then we're going to go with the first reason from team two. And it'll be the same. We'll have the initial, I'll just copy and paste this. It'll be the same, oops. It'll be the same idea. We'll have the, the person go down here. Right, so when you finish with the first turn, then the against team, team two, will begin with the first reason, with the initial claim, and then somebody from team one will offer a counterclaim, and then the rebuttal from the same person that presented the original claim. When they finish, this will be the second turn. We'll go back here, reason number two from for four, and we'll go back and forth, back and forth in that in that fashion. Okay, okay. Does that make thank you, teacher? Okay, yes. and one one other thing too. The each team can decide on the order. So it's possible, let's go back to the first example. This counterclaim is going to be from somebody down here. It doesn't matter if this the person answering this counterclaim right here, right? This person can be from reason one, from reason two, reason three, or reason four. It doesn't matter. It can be anybody. All right? But they only have one opportunity to present a counterclaim. That is, each person is responsible for one counterclaim. We don't want the same person answering every counterclaim. So everybody has an opportunity, but you can choose. This is a, a group decision about, okay, who who wants to answer this reason, right? Who wants to answer this reason? Who wants to present this reason? You know, and so on. So if you guys can fill this out, um, I can look at it also and see if we're kind of on the right track, right? If you want to fill your names out, Put the reason, again, try to keep it short, and you can keep your notes separate if you need additional notes to prepare for what you want to say. But if I can see your names here, then I'll, I, I'll know that you're, we're on the right track in terms of basically equal participation. That's really the, the, whole, the whole point. Alrighty, any other questions, guys? No, teacher. No? All right, so let's go ahead and break it up into our groups like we did yesterday. Uh, I'll be online, of course. Jump in if you have any questions, and I'll also be checking the chat. Okay, so we'll uh, continue working and preparing for the debate, and we'll come back uh, at 9.40 to close the class. Okay, teacher. Cada quien elija como el, 
punto que más le guste y ese podría explicar cada quien, ¿no? Sí. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes, we have one question. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> um, is in the part of the um um contract claim <laughs> mm -hmm. um in that part is going to be the name of the of the of one member of the other team that's correct mm -hmm. oh, okay um and we're going to put in original claim um, or principal, um, I don't know how to say it. Like um, the reason? Uh -huh, the reason. Uh -huh. um, Think of the evidence like examples, like, um, you know, and, and just it would be like your sources talking about what it is that you're saying in your reason but they would be they probably will show examples of the reason that you're you're stating okay it, um in our outline uh, in the contract claim um, we're not going to put anything any information no it's not necessary it's not necessary this is just um, so that the person knows who they're going to defend, right? So um, it's not necessary in these in this outline for the counterclaim to 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 include the evidence. Okay, we're going to assume that the person who is stating the counterclaim is going to have some information to to discuss. Now it's possible. It's possible that, uh, depending on the reasons between the two teams, that maybe one of the counterclaims is very much related or maybe even included in some of the evidence in the initial claims, maybe. But that just depends. Uh, depends on what the reasons are between the, the two groups. But for this outline, this evidence is only for supporting the original claim. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, we're not going to put anything in the outline of the other team, right? <laughs> uh, no. Unless you're just adding your name to the counter claim. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Well, all the dudes that I have, I don't know if um, my classmates have other questions. Any you other know? question questions, guys? Mm -hmm. Teacher. No. Okay. Hey, me teacher. Oh yes, go ahead, Carlos. So in recent original claim name, we have to put the um, the main topic. Uh, for example, one benefit one benefit about video games. And in evidence one, two, and three, uh, I have we have to put um, examples or details that support the the topic or the reason that we will explain. That's yeah, you, that's that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, it's all, teacher. Thank you so all much. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. All right, guys, uh, it's 940. Go ahead and uh, summarize what we're going to do uh, tomorrow. So today we prepared uh, evidence. We got uh, together with our teammates to see the order in which we want to present our 
reasons. And think of reasons as a because statement, right? Um, you know, adults should should uh, play video games because, right? And then we're going to have four reasons. Remember that you should include at least two pieces of evidence when you support the reason that you're uh, that you're going to uh, talk about. We talked about a debate turn, so each person with your uh, your own reason will present original claim. You will then listen back and hear a counterclaim from a teammate from the other team. And then you'll come back and offer a rebuttal about the same, the same point. Remember that the original claim should be no longer than two minutes. The counterclaim and the rebuttal no longer than one minute each. Okay, so the total debate turn should last four minutes that's a back and forth right and that's for one reason we're going to have eight total reasons four and four for the entire debate all right so make sure that you assign someone to take time uh, to, to be the to the timekeeper to keep track of the time as you're going and and try to stick to the time uh, throughout the debate all right. Any questions about the debate itself or the opening statements or the closing statements? No. So tomorrow what we'll do is we'll start class at 8 o'clock and I'll give you a one more hour uh, to prepare. We'll start the debate at 9 o'clock. And I hope that you have an opportunity to go through at least once uh, through the debate as a practice. The, the opening statement, your, your debate, you can, and it's, the practice will be, you know, you can practice saying what you're going to say. It doesn't have to be a practice with both teams, right? It can be you practicing just your, your initial claims, like what you're going to say about the evidence. Remember, this is an exercise in paraphrasing. So it's taking someone else's ideas and trying to put your own words to those ideas. All right, so we'll start class tomorrow at 8. We'll have an hour or so to uh, prepare, and then we'll start the debate at 9 o'clock. Each of your debates now will be recorded. You'll create a, a video an audio file just as you've been doing in your meetings and the only difference now will be that you'll have eight members in the conversation in the debate uh, as you're going back and forth for for each of the reasons all right guys um let me know if you have any questions after class if you have some uh, anything that needs to be clarified uh, again we'll have a little bit of time tomorrow to to finish our preparation, and then we'll dive into the debate at 9 o'clock. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. I um, hope you have a good day today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.